Test one, two. <coughs> Sega. Hello, my name is Oix Fu, and welcome to the Sega CD. We're going to be doing some videos for classic Sega Summer, like I did last year. In case you have not heard of classic Sega Summer, I'm going to be putting some links in the description below so you can go and check out a video that will explain all you need to know so you can watch more classic Sega Summer videos or maybe even get in on it yourself, which I highly recommend. It's a load of fun and you could be playing games like these, like Wirehead! I didn't really do many of the full motion video full motion video games that they had for the uh, Sega CD last year, so I figured, eh, why the heck not? Let's start off in the best fashion possible with the worst of the games. <laughs> ah, look at that! Look at that low quality video. Isn't it beautiful? Brings a tear to your eye in nostalgia, doesn't it? <laughs> I love how this this game is also set up like it's a sitcom. <laughs> like, oh, Steve Whitting is Wirehead because he's got a wire coming out of his head. I also love how this is like one of those early 90s video game commercials where it's like just showing off crazy things you could you would be able to do in a game but in real life. <laughs> I told you kids not to play with your father's controller. But yeah, he's wirehead cuz he's got a wire coming out of his head. Isn't that creative? <laughs> All these people will never meet unless she's unless she's heals, but I don't think so. I have no idea who half the people are, because they're never introduced by name sometimes. Anyway. We got a VHS! Oh my god! Flash from the past! Man, I don't know how to say this. They've tortured me. They've killed my nurse. And now they're after you. I escaped. But I don't know so how the doctor find me who put the thing you. in her head I've got to go. To control us. I'll be getting in touch with you very soon. Has been in the captured. Meantime, I've got someone watching over you with my controller. And we're going to control Wirehead to keep him from getting in trouble. So, this will be fun. Yes. My name is Frank Ross. This is my partner, Will Kramer. We're with the FBI. I'd like it if you'd come with us and answer a few questions, please. And when I say fun, no, I don't actually what? mean fun. No big deal, just a few routine questions. This game is fun because eyes, of man. the odd scenes it gives you sometimes. The it, it's it's more funny than fun. Cuz as you'll I see know. in just a second, your controls are the directional pad. That's it. You hit the button to go the direction and if you make it, you make it. If you don't, there's some hilarious scene. Ha 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 ha. And you get caught. You lose. You lose some battery, as you'll see in a second. You're going down. <laughs> Get to see some hilarious acting. And I believe you have nine chances in total to beat the entire game. So let's go right. How about that? Oh no, where to now? Let's run out the door. That seems like a logical option, right? Yeah! Man, you're killing me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I, I guess he's pretty quick on his feet. Hmm, well, let's go left. They'll gray out as you go the wrong way, by the way. Okay, let's go left again. <laughs> again, I like this game because of the of the just ridiculous video that they have in there, nothing more. Anyway, the primary b battery is exhausted. I'm pretty sure you don't get the battery back. There are checkpoints, but I'm pretty sure it's just the nine chances. It's all just 
trial and error. You gotta know that you go left, then you go right. Some of these you have to be really quick, too. Can't go straight out, you gotta go right to go through the right door. Alright, how are we gonna get away? Oh, let's go the bike! That seems like the logical choice, right? almost got away too anyway enough of that let's actually let's actually get out of the house so we can move on because I do want to show more than just the house and how ridiculous this is because <laughs> it gets quite more it gets a lot more ridiculous there are actually branching paths too if you'll believe that um uh, technically they're not branching they're just shortcuts you can take a different way in order to make in order to get to a certain area quicker like say we could go straight here but we could have also gone right and we could have gone uh we could have, we could have jumped into a woman's jeep <laughs> oh no get out of the way can't you see i'm on a runaway skateboard on, a, on the run from the authorities. <laughs> oh man, I love this so much. It's everything you want from chasing. And that music. <laughs> All right, let's see. This is one I. This is one I always screw up. Let's go down, shall we? Oh man, he made it. I love this. Into the airport shuttle and they. <laughs> Let's book it! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Man, that actor though, he's pretty good. At stunts. Gotta give him that. <laughs> I love that! Thanks! I got a drink while I was here! If you run right in, you get stopped by the cops, so... We're gonna instead steal the ticket and go in the in the baggage way well looks like we lost them looks like we're safe we're off looks like we can take a break that's the game right it's over what are you doing in here i was uh just making sure my bags got on the plane no one is allowed in this room sir now i suggest you take your seat no one's allowed in that room why were you going in that room anyway looks like we can take it easy <laughs> Job well done. Good job, Wirehead. Uh oh. What's going on? This can't be good. Sally. Ned, where are you? I've been worried sick. The phone could be bugged. I'll explain later. Just listen. Remember that cabin we go to on summers when we first met? Yes. Go there. Grab the kids and leave the house right now. Ned, are you okay? Remember the doctor. Sally, go now. Right now, trust me, we could be in a lot of danger. Well, shouldn't I call the police? No, don't talk to anyone. <laughs> don't tell anyone where you're going. Of course she's got a Chinese-style collar. She's an immediate bad guy. <laughs> me. Is that seat taken? Oh, I love this. Testosterone surge detected. Do you mind? Warning, system overload. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's just... This entire game is just a spectacle. I next to a fat man back there who snores like a water buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Making fun of fat people. <laughs> You're not going to believe that. Mm. What? Airport security's just called. They think we might have a murderer on board. My name is Frances Mars, and yours? Ned Hubbard. Really? Yeah. Aren't you the one that they call Wirehead? <laughs> I read about I should probably be concerned that you know about that. Ned Hubbard. But you said you read about it, so it's okay. The passenger call button. Ned Hubbard. I have an idea. Follow me. Ooh. Anyway. Let's figure out what we gotta do. Do we go back to with the authorities? Do we follow her? Or do we try to make our own escape? Let's hide in here. Well, we're gonna actually follow her this first time, because this is pretty funny. Have you ever done it in the bathroom before? <laughs> no. Too bad. Why? 
Because you'll never know how it feels. <laughs> I love how she looks at the camera as well, like, did I do good? <laughs> Was that a good take? <laughs> Let's hide in here. Nope, we're gonna run out. And listen to some more great voice acting. <laughs> we're gonna Indiana Jones this plane. Indiana Jones, this popsicle stand. Lucky I can see without my glasses. Yeah, let's let's go right over it. No big deal. <laughs> I will. Just give me a second. Just jump down. Come on. It's it's like a three foot drop. Watch. Look, you're fine. <laughs> well, okay, never mind. I spoke a little too soon. <laughs> well, let's take on the bear. That's that's a smart way to do it, right? <laughs> Grizzly. <laughs> I forgot about that pun. Oh man, I'm glad I took that way. Let's hide in here. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna run again. I, you know, I, I'd rather just jump. I can't jump out of a plane. Yes, you can. You just did it. This must have been so much fun to film. That's all I can think of. Hey, you're good. <laughs> hey, I got this far, didn't I? Through trial and error. Anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap it up soon. Because... Well, I haven't gotten much farther than this, actually. There's a couple more things I know. But, for the most part, it's just... For the most part, I think we're, we're almost done. So we're gonna do a couple more scenes, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna start letting you guys go now. This has been Wirehead, for classic Sega Summer, by MiyoXFu. Again, if you wanna learn how you can get involved, look in the description. There should be a link there. Oh god, what are they doing to you, Ned? <laughs> Anyway, and I hope that some of you enjoy this enough that you decide to join in, because it'd be it, it'd be a lot of fun to see some other people getting in on this. Everybody's allowed to join, so. Wait, where are we? Looks like we're in the Old West. This is crazy. <laughs> Uh-oh. We've actually got an arrest warrant now. This can't be good. Even worse. Bubba's bacon, right? <laughs> I didn't see that sign before. Even worse, the, the fuzz are out for us now. So we'll do what any sane person would do, you know? Let's steal some clothes and try to blend in. We'll never stick out. Especially with that feather in our cap. <laughs> Better go right in. If we leave, they'll be suspicious. Hmm. I feel like, um, I want a drink, you know? Let's get something. Hey there, little lady. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty sure I know what we're supposed to do, so... 
maybe. Let's see if I can get past here. The left, I think. Howdy. Nice hat. Thank you. Where'd you get it? Oh, a store. General store. It looks awfully familiar to me. Sure does. Oh, yeah? Sure does. Sure does. M O O S E. Moose. That's my hat. <laughs> you know what we do with hat rustlers? No. Well, I'm gonna punch you. And then I'm gonna get punched back. <laughs> uh oh, looks like we did. We we finally kicked the bucket. <laughs> hmm, odd. Seems like it's not over. What's going on? I'm Mara Levin with the Times. And gentlemen, we have a very serious problem. Your prisoner here is accused of killing a man that he didn't kill. And the real killers are, in fact, on their way here this minute to kill him. Now, I wouldn't worry your pretty little head about our prisoner, man. After all, we're just stereotypically fat and lazy cops. They're going to kill you, him, me, anybody to get to him. Now, you listen here, little Miss Reporter. I don't know who you are, where you come from. I just but told I you! <laughs> our prisoner is safe. Right. Well, may I at least speak to the prisoner then? Well, sure. I mean, hell, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> this could never backfire. Now, I know who you are. I've met with Dr. Oha. He is safe, and he wants me to bring you to him now. But I don't even know where Look, I am. Look, I don't have time to explain everything right now. Trust me. Act dehydrated. Excuse me. Gentlemen, are you trying to kill this man? He's going to die of dehydration. Dehydration? Yeah, what? <laughs> He's going to die of thirst. Please, do something for him. Oh, hell, deputy. Get him a drink. That's acting for you. Please. Get ready. Care for your dehydration. Help me. There's, no, there's no way open this could turn out badly. Do that if I were you, little lady. You open that cell door right now or I'm going to blow your redneck head off. No need to compliment us now, little lady. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody else has things Sheriff, under control. I don't know who this woman is. I am trying to save you. By getting us both killed? Hey, you're in a lot of trouble now, young lady. You get in there. Go on, go on. Okay, all right. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Who are you? You don't just grab him. That man is with law enforcement. You don't take his gun. I'm in jail. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna obey the law now. Well, I guess we better take her too. Sheriff, these guys are imposters. Look at their ID. Call the FBI. Check it out. Those delusions are getting worse. The nearest field office is 45 minutes away. Luckily, we were in the neighborhood. Oh, really? Where is your authorization? It's not necessary. Then you won't mind if I make a quick call. Well... It's said it's not necessary. Looks like things took a little bit of a turn for the worse. Uh-oh! <laughs> anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That has been Wirehead for the Sega CD. My name has been OXFU, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you're ready for another classic Sega summer.